Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we're going to learn how to make a cool gradient background color effect to our web pages. So in order to do this, you are going to need Photoshop, Dreamweaver, and you are also going to need to have a site defined and a default images folder. If you don't have any of the latter two and you don't know how to do that, go to my site configuration video and it will show you exactly how to make that default images folder. So just follow along with me on this tutorial. I'll show you how to do it and then you, I know you're probably going to want to use different colors but after you get the gist of it you can do this many 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 times over. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up Dreamweaver. Let's create a new HTML Make sure that we are in that site that is defined with the default images folder and go to File, Save As, and let's just call this Background Tutorial. And click Save. So now we are pretty much done with Dreamweaver. <laughs> let's go to Photoshop. Let's go File, New, and let's create a, a new document that is 500 pixels wide. 500 pixels high, 72 resolution, and a transparent background, and let's click OK. And let's click F to full screen that. So now this is where we are going to make our gradient background color effect. So let's do like a dark blue to a light blue. So in order to do this, let's click our gradient tool. If you don't see this, then it's under your paint bucket tool. So just click and hold and go to gradient tool. And here's where you um, manipulate the gradient. So now we have like a black to white gradient. So let's do that dark blue to light blue that we were talking about. So let's click that. And here is where you manipulate the colors. So I want that dark blue over here, so I'm going to click this color stop, and I'm going to click this color black right here. And here I can manipulate the color. So I'm going to go try and find a darker blue. I really like that blue. So I'm going to use 010B55. If you want to type that in, you would just highlight whatever you have and go 010B55. So let's click OK. And now let's manipulate this white color over here. So let's click this white. Let's click the color. And let's go find a lighter blue. So the one I'm going to use is going to be, that's cool, 026BA8. So after you type that in, let's click OK. And let's click OK. So now we're going to make our gradient color. So with the marquee tool, click at the top of the document, drag it down to about 3 quarters, Click shift right before you let go, and then let go of both at the same time. So now you have your gradient color on your workspace. Now what we need to do is crop this to the smallest size that we can possibly make it. I'll show you why later. So let's click the crop tool, and let's make just a regular crop, and let's drag this in as close as we can get it. And I'm going to zoom in even a little more, because I want this real small. And I'm going to drag this in even more. So just as good as you can get it. And then after you're done, hover over that crop slice and double click. So now let's go back to around 100%. And there you go. That's our background. Yeah, You'll see in a second. So let's go to File, Save As, and go to your default images folder, wherever that is. So I'm going to go to my desktop, first site, images. So once you're in your default images folder, highlight it, and let's call it background dot psd and click save click ok and then go file save as and let's make it a png file so let's go to png you can also make it a jpeg if you want and let's click ok doesn't matter if it's interlaced so let's go back to dreamweaver and in that background tutorial let's go in our html properties panel to page properties go to background image go browse find that background dot png and click choose now we want to repeat this on the x-axis because we had a very small slice and we want it to repeat across the page, not down. So go to your repeat, go to repeat x, click that, and let's click apply. Now you have your background color. Now the problem is it's going to turn into white. We don't see the whole thing, but say if you keep adding in data, let's click OK, and let's click enter a couple times. Now you can see it stops right there because we didn't repeat it on the y-axis. But we want this to go down as far as our web page will ever go. We don't know how much content we're going to add into our web page. So now let's go to Page Properties. 
Let's go to background color, and you see you have this little dropper tool? Get this dropper tool on the white, and keep going up until you just click the blue, and it changes to that blue color, and click it. Now click Apply, and click OK, and now you have that gradient go right into that blue color. So let's go to Preview in Safari, Save, and now you have that cool gradient background effect. It seems like I have a nice little line there, so I probably didn't get it that good. So I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to go to Page Properties, Background Color. I'm going to try maybe this color. Let's apply that. And now my line is gone. So let's click OK. Let's preview that in Safari. You want to keep it tidy, keep it looking real good. And now we have that cool background color effect. So no matter how far we go, let's click in that design view and click, click and enter. And that blue stays there. How awesome is that? So today we learned how to make a cool background color effect with a nice background gradient. And I hope this tutorial was useful. And thank you for watching.